is the furthest limit of the fossil and tectonic record? And what is known about how much further back the Earth supported a stable crust and life? I have heard... Okay, Earth has never had a stable crust. Just what? look around. Whoa. No, it's churning daily. That's, That's why we correct. have earthquakes. Right. Go look, look at the USGS earthquake page on the internet. And it's a record of all the earthquakes in the world. They're like hundreds a day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Just Every day. The only ones you hear about are the ones that shake and bake a city. Right. But there are, there are tremors. There are, right. you know, uh, level two, three, four, and five. Uh, New York City had one last year, for goodness Correct. sake. Okay? Yes. Not a big enough to topple buildings. But, and that was based in Virginia, I think it was. And it was very, very it was. widespread. That's right. The energy was spread out. So it thinned out the energy. Um, so that's why, you know, there was no real disasters from that from that earthquake. So, we, we've never had a stable crust. A, it's still not stable and it will remain unstable for a long time to come. B, C, the earliest fossil evidence of life goes back, if you push it, if you really push it, 3.7, 3.8 billion years. 3.8 billion? Yeah, these are single cell single organisms. Cell organisms. That's correct. And before, here's what happens. If you wait long enough, the land mass that you're on subducts beneath other land masses right. and rejoins the mantle and comes back out as a volcano, as lava. So Earth remakes its surface over uh, several billion years. So that's why the oldest rocks wow. on Earth are not as old as the oldest, oldest rocks on the moon. Exactly. Because the moon w was done with its volcanic activity very early. Right. And once you're done, your rocks are You're not remaking there. yourself. You're not remaking yourself. Yeah, you're just sitting there. You're just sitting there. But the Earth is kind of like our skin. Is that what you're saying? Kind of like a... I guess I, you know, if you're a metrosexual and you get skin peels and things, <laughs> fine. I, it's not my first thought, Chuck. Groomed Chuck. It's not my first thought, but yes, you're constantly remaking your outer epidermis. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's where my mind goes <laughs> to my next chemical peel.